Welcome back to Street Bandito. This is the electric 240Z build. And in this episode, we're going to be cleaning up the rear end here. So the goal of this episode is to cover this huge hole in the floor. I've already started removing some of the weird pieces that are on 280Z, whereas the 240 is straight flat other than the uh, spare tire well. Um, so the plan here is gonna be to clean up some of this stuff here on the edges so we can attach a big flat carbon sheet we're just gonna have to go and bond to a ring that we put around here. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut some steel pieces that'll float that the new floor can kind of bond to. Maybe even put like a little bar between them. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a sheet metal piece that sits in here and kind of rough out our shape for the scoop for the radiators. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and box that and add some foam. catch you up on what the heck this thing is <laughs> and why are we even doing this building this piece <laughs> um, okay so this is essentially going to be the backbone for the foam plug that we're gonna make to make a mold make our carbon piece um, and picture essentially the one radiator here one radiator here I want to curve this back so it separates the in interior from, you know, the exterior because it's going to be left open. Um, but then I also want to curve this and connect it to the inside sheet. I'm going to put in the quarter panel to seal the quarter panel off as well. Because if you look in uh, Carlos and Ash's render, when you look through the back, if you look to like an angle, you can see the four vents that are in the quarter panel. So it's going to be a little curved piece. You can kind of see the Sharpie mark I put here. Curve piece that's gonna curve up, curve across, and curve back up. Um, and then this will allow me to get a nice flange, because this is the correct shape, um, as, as well as like a, this corner piece right here. I angled a little, I welded a little angle iron to the edge here. This is all super rough and dirty and just as quick as I can possibly do it with it being structurally sound where I need it and just to give me a backbone for the foam that we're about to pour in here.
both molds released we have them clear gel coated and before I gel coated I marked the center line and the weave orientation we're gonna go ahead and take that stabilized carbon fiber from fiberglass and run a single piece here with the weave running this way and the same thing this way because it's gonna match our trunk floor so it'll go th straight through the trunk up this hump and we do the same thing on the intersection so we got a couple parts to lay up. We're also gonna lay up a flat panel on a piece of glass right here. So we have the inner sections of the quarters. So we now have panels. The footage of us making this duct actually got cut off because my I've been filming with my iPhone and it died. So you saw us make this panel, these panels, so it's fine. <laughs> Will made these little uh, side pieces out of 3K carbon from fiberglass. 3K carbon with uh, System 2000 epoxy resin. So they're flexible because we made them flat and as soon as we pulled them up, we threw a little heat on them and then bent them into the shape. Um, they're, they will be like slid in a little more and clamped down so they'll have a little more curve to them. But you get the idea. These will get epoxied in, same with the floor and this. None of this is gonna be removable. It's all gonna be bonded in permanently once everything's painted. Um, this is also gonna get trimmed back a little bit, made a little bigger than it needs to be, but you can kind of see once it's clamped, it's all gonna be real tight. Um, and then this duct right here is gonna be channeling all the air into uh, we made the little V seam here with fiberglass 3K carbon, but the stabilized carbon. So the first and last layers on these parts, well, at least on this one, because we want to do the underside as well. Um, we just, the stabilized carbon, you can just cut a straight line and it will not fray at all at the end. So for something like this, it is perfect for setting a V weave. Um, we've done a couple parts like that for this exact build to keep this V-weave pattern going throughout the interior of the car. I'm not fully convinced I want to do it on the outside because it's a lot of uh, panels to line up perfectly and if they don't line up perfectly, you'll see it and people will talk about it, I'm sure. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> but we got a pretty damn straight and lined up line here. So that's good. We're gonna throw a little, a little beam back here where these two line up. And this is also a little too wide, so it's bowed right now. So I need to trim this back so it can sit fully flush. But you get the idea. We're just showing you. We'll see you next time.